Hi, Daniel. Hi, Carlos, Roberto, Johnny, Trini. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, teacher. teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? A la hora de los uh, camiones, yeah. <laughs> Se han atrasado un poquito los camiones ahorita. No, ya, ya empezaron. Lo que pasa es que ahorita no, hay, no están pasando. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hoy empezaron más temprano porque estaban en otra clase y estaban así como que si es a las ocho, no un cuarto. Okay. All right, guys. Very nice. Daniel, how are you today? Hoy vino uno. How was your day today, Daniel? Nice. At home. Relax. Okay. All right. Very nice. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. All right, Johnny. And you? Are you still going to school, Johnny? Or not anymore? No, only in my house, but uh, from 7 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. Okay. <laughs> Today is my day. Oh, all right. Okay, very nice. Jorge, creo que está en el trabajo, Jorge. All right. And Carlos Roberto, creo que se desconectó Trini. Ok, eh, denme un segundito, voy a hacer el cambio, ¿verdad, Johnny? <ríe> All right, just give me a second. Guys, estaba hablando y tenía el micrófono apagado. Thursday. No, Johnny, I was talking to you guys. <laughs> ya me di cuenta que I'm tired, all right? Very good. Okay, so I was saying that yesterday we were talking about the use of could y nos quedamos en el último ejercicio, ¿verdad? Del, could you go get coffee for me? Eso lo terminamos ayer. The speaking practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, so, so. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. No, All right, that's okay. Teacher. Because other, other page. You share. Ajá, y esa la terminamos. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so let's hear, let's see here, guys. I'm just, um... okay. So we're going to do this right now. It says read the situations and, and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. Share the sentences with your classmates. La, ya lo vamos a hacer. Voy a tomar ahorita asistencia en lo que empiezan a entrar más compañeros. Um, all right. Y luego empezamos con este exercise. All right. Uy, si Dios se hay poquitos ahora. ¿Qué les pasó? Ok. Then we have Trini entró, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita no está. Se salió Trini. Debe haber tenido problema con la internet. All right, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Hi, Carlos. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Okay. Um, Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Juan José Conrado. Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubillas. Rosa Lisette Paz Hernández. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones, María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas, and Daniel Antonio Luna. Ah, Trini ya entró. Volvió a entrar Trini. <laughs> Ay, Trini. All right, very good. And David está aquí también con nosotros. All right. So, hello. Yes, hi, David. How are you? <clears throat> All right. Oh. Hopefully... Oh, excellent. The rest of your classmates will join us a little later. Let's try to do this right now. A ver, think about this situation. Vamos a hacerlo ahorita igual. Lo vamos a hacer acá eh, individually. This is the situation. You don't have a car. Number two, someone of your family is sick. Number three, you need to request a legal document. Number four, you feel tired or sick. And then here, you have to put the situation. Estas son las situaciones que tenemos acá. What I want, we want you to use could as a possibility, all right? For example, you say, I don't have a car. Ah, uh, you could take Uber. That's a possibility. You could go by bus. That's another possibility. All right? Entonces, esas ya no se valen porque esas ya las dije yo. All right? So you have to think of other possibilities using could. For number one, two, Uy, three, four. <clears throat> Hola, Daniel. Uy, así te chiste. <laughs> All right? De la uno a la cuatro. Oh. La cinco, solo okay. escriba la situación. No escriba el could. All right, for po for possibility, only the, only the situation, all right? Voy a dejar de compartir. Ustedes tienen ahí su manual, lo pueden hacer allí, please. Teacher. Hello, Johnny. With question or a sentence? No, a sentence. Remember that it's a possibility, it's not a request. Okay. All right, yeah. So that's the difference. Si fuese a request, Johnny, then yes, you have to ask, you have you have to make a question, but it's a possibility, so it's a sentence. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Para Cristina, eh, Lisette, Edwin, and Rocío. 
Yo ni me congelé. No. No. Ok. No. <laughs> All right, I'm just checking. A ver, para las que acaban de entrar también y Edwin, estamos, we're working on page 42, exercise 4. All right, ahí ellos les están dando situaciones. Ustedes tienen que poner sentences using could. All right. When you finish, let me know. Teacher, puedo compartir pantalla, por favor. All right, guys, are you finished? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Thank you, Daniel, Johnny, Alexander, Katia, Edwin, no, are you guys finished? No, no. yet, teacher. Yeah. All right, okay, I'll give you like two more minutes and then we can share. Thank you.
I finished. I finished too, teacher. All right, guys, thank you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, hi, Maria Melina. Hi, Oscar. Edilson, how are you? Hi, good night, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Good, thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, regaleme un segundito, please. Sorry guys, thank you. All right, okay, let's see. So Christina, you, it says you don't have a car. Okay, what is the um, your sentence of possibility with could? Christina? My son called go USA the next year. Tell me again. My son called go USA the next year. Ok, está bien la oración, Cristina. Solo que, ¿cuál sería como la relación entre you don't have a car? Um, esa, no entendí entonces el ejercicio. Teacher. All right, no, no se preocupe. Sin embargo, la oración uh -huh. está bien estructurada. Es que lo que le entendí que íbamos a hacer como una posibilidad, pero no entendí que se lo íbamos a hacer semejante a lo que estaba ahí. Ajá, es, lo que pasa que es hacer una oración usando could de posibilidad basado en la situación que tenemos aquí arriba. Mm, ok. All right, ok. Veamos, no se preocupe. A ver, Daniel, what do you have? I have, um, you could call a uh, taxi. You could take a taxi. Yes, very good. You okay. Take a taxi. Oh, oh, you can. Oh, oh, you could go uh, walking. Okay, but you could go walking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Anybody else with you don't have a car? Otra posibilidad. Teacher, mm -hmm. I write. Could you pick me in the supermarket, please? Pero eso ya no es possibility, Katia. Eso ya es request. Um, okay, teacher. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you could give me a car. Excuse me? You could give me a car? Yeah. All right, yes, you could give me a car. Ya ve, Johnny, la hora. All right, very yes. nice. Let's see. Situation number two. Teacher. Hola. No, yes, maybe I, I could, I, I could have a car the next year. Yes, yes, I could have a car the next year. Yes, that's a possibility, Alexander. Very good. 
All right, very nice. Let's see, what about number two? Someone of your family is sick. Okay, anybody for una posibilidad? I could go to the doctor with my family. Family, family sick. Ah, okay, with my, yeah. I, uh -huh. I, call, I call visit the hospital. Okay, you could visit the hospital. Okay. Yes, that's a possibility. You could go with the person that is sick in your family. Yes. Any other? I could buy medicine. <laughs> yes. Anybody else? Teacher. Yes. Uh, could you get him medicine? Okay, yes, yes, very nice. Okay, let's see. Number three, you need to request a legal document. Could you help me with the document, please? Yes, ah, pero en ese es request. No es posibilidad. Si es el could, ¿verdad? Y lo ocupo muy bien, solo que no lo estamos aplicando como como posibilidad, sino que como que solicita algo. Ok. All right. Ok, anybody else? You need to request a legal document. ¿Qué más podemos poner de posibilidad? I could go to attorney. Okay, I could go to, uh, you could go to an attorney. Very good. Excellent, Johnny. Any other? Any other possibility? Anybody else with this one? Maybe Trini? Trini, any uh, possibility with number three? No, teacher, es que no, no comprendí muy bien qué es lo que íbamos a hacer. Ok, all right. Estamos sure. tratando... Eh, hice, voy, 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 permítame. Yo lo hice tipo... No sé, como, como pregunta lo que estábamos haciendo ahí. Ajá. Ah, ok. All right. Ya lo vamos, ya lo, vamos a, a, voy a dar una explicación oh, relacionada a esto y ya vamos a ver. A ver, no sé si Edwin iba a decir algo. Yes. Uh, you call, you call, give me the contract. The contract. Yes. Ok. Very nice. Thank you. What about number four? You feel tired or sick? Puede ser, teacher, a cool rest, a leave after dining. Oh, very nice. Okay. Okay, very good. Anybody else? One more. Oscar Edilson, you feel tired or sick? What is a possibility? Uh, I could go to my bed. <laughs> yes, you could go to your bed. <laughs> That's a very good option. A ver, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Um, de repente, solo explicar eh, otra vez para que podamos como tener más claro que cuando usamos could, en este caso, podemos usarlo para dos situaciones. Podemos usar could for request, cuando solicitamos o pedimos algo. Si este, si lo usamos de esta forma, permítame que viene un camión. <ríe> All right. If we use could for request, entonces lo usamos en formato de pregunta y nos va a quedar así. Voy a poner, voy a compartir mi pizarra aquí. Si es, a ver, vamos a poner, aquí estamos hablando de could. All right. Ok, entonces podemos usar could para dos cosas. Podemos usar could for request 
O podemos usar could for possibility. All right? Para de esas dos cosas usamos could. Yes? Si nosotros, vamos bien hasta ahí. Yes, guys. Hola, hola. Okay. Yes, teacher. If we use could for could, vamos a poner could for request. Okay. Lo usamos in question. In question form. Okay. Y nos queda así. Ahorita voy a escribir una pregunta. In question form, all right? Y nos queda, could you uh, take me to the doctor? Yo estoy enferma y le pregunto a usted, uh, Lisette, could you take me to the doctor? All right? Le estoy solicitando que me lleve al médico, que me lleve al doctor, all right? O a la clínica. Could you take me to the doctor? Perfecto, all right? No hay ningún problema. Eso es si usamos could for request. Uy, perdón, aquí les falta una tecla. Si usamos could for possibility, all right, usamos, eh, perdón, for possibility in an affirmative sentence. All right. Entonces nos queda. I could, I could buy a car next year, all right? Entonces, si usamos el could for possibility, no lo usamos como pregunta, all right? Lo usamos como una afirmación, ¿ok? Entonces, yo le digo, yo podría comprar un carro el otro año. Es una posibilidad, si ahorro, si trabajo más, all right, yo puedo ahorrar y poder comprar, o como Cristina, que se gana un carro, <ríe> all right. Entonces decimos, I could buy a car next year. No le estoy preguntando, no estoy solicitando su ayuda, no estoy solicitando algo de parte suya. Estoy comentando, I could buy a car next year. There is a possibility. Ok, entonces esa es la gran diferencia entre could request y could possibility. All right. If it's could for request, it's a question. If it's could for possibility, it's a sentence. In this case, it's affirmative sentence. So I say I could buy a car. All right. I could go to the doctor. Así como dijo Oscar, ¿verdad? Si usted está como cansado, usted dice, I could go to bed or I could read a book. All right. Hay gente que se trata de, se relaja del cansancio leyendo, escuchando música, durmiendo, viendo tele. I don't know. All right. So that's a possibility. Ok. Entendemos este, esta, esta diferencia entre could request and could possibility. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Entonces, en el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo, eh, voy, a, uh, voy a dejar de compartir, ¿ok? Ok. En este ejercicio que estábamos haciendo de acá, all right, tenemos situaciones. Por ejemplo, decíamos, you don't have a car. Ok. Si yo vengo y le digo, ay, Johnny, I don't have a car. Y Johnny viene y me dice, me da una posibilidad. ¿Cuál sería, Johnny? Uh, you could... No, no, no. I could give you a car. G oh, ya me confundí. <laughs> What happened, Johnny? Veamos. You have... No, you could. You could give me a car, but uh, you say, es que ahí en de, a veces me confundo. Ajá, que tengo que, que tengo que decir si a veces usar you o a veces usar I. Depende, porque si, aquí también. exacto, porque si yo le digo, Johnny, I don't have a car, y usted está hablando directamente conmigo, usted me dice, ah, oh. Jessica, you... ¿Verdad? Porque usted me dice, ay, no tiene nada que ver con lo que yo le estoy diciendo. A menos que usted me diga, por ejemplo, yo le puedo ayudar, yo le podría ayudar. 
All right, por ejemplo, digamos, yo le digo, Johnny, I don't have a car. Y usted me dice, ah, teacher, I could help you. ¿Verdad? Rent a car. ¿Ah? I, could, I could rent a car for you. Ajá, uh -huh, I could rent a car for you. Um, I don't know. I could, I don't know. Uh, por, ej por ejemplo, I could give my car. To you, uh -huh. To you. <laughs> okay, ajá, uh -huh. that's a possibility. Ok, very good, Johnny. Ok, entonces ahí va a depender de lo que usted realmente quiere decir y cuál es la posibilidad de la que estamos hablando. Ok, what about number two? Someone of your family is sick. Hagamos esto juntos. Alguien que no había hecho o tal vez no había entendido anteriormente y hoy ya, ya entendió mejor o quiere intentarlo. Si yo le digo, por ejemplo, ay, my mom is sick. All right, ¿cuál sería la posibilidad que ustedes me pueden dar? You could buy medicine, yes. You could go to the hospital. Yes, you could go to the hospital right now. Muy bien, another one. Cristina, I una más. I could Ajá. call the doctor. Okay, all right. Entonces, yes, very nice, guys. Very good. Okay. Las número cinco, para los que entraron después, num number five, lo que quería es que usted pensara en una situación. Así como tenemos una situación for number one, number two, number three, and number four, I want you to think about number five. Okay? Piensa en una situación. No sé, de repente se dice, I don't have money, o perdí mis llaves. O no sé. Piensa en una situación ahorita y solo escriba la situación. No voy a escribir la oración using could. ¿Sí me entienden con eso? My situation is I need to use a car. Uh -huh. Ok, you need to use a car. Yes. Ok. Ok, another situation. Pensemos en otra situation, los demás. You don't have a house. You don't have a house. Very good, yes. Ok. Anything else? I need a new laptop. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Very good. That's the situation. I need a new laptop. Muy bien. Otra situación? <clears throat> I am hungry. No. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Very good, Edwin. I'm hungry. Okay. Very good. That's a situation. Me too. <laughs> okay. That's a situation. Very good. I otra, need to do exercise. Excellent. Yes, I need to exercise. Yes. Okay. That's a situation. There is a house for sale. Ah, mire, there is a house for sale. Very good, Lisette. I could buy the house. That's a possibility. <laughs> Perfect. Very nice. Okay. Entonces, con la situación, yo quiero que piensen, si no la han terminado, escriban su propia situación, así como la que me han estado diciendo. Si no lo han hecho, terminen la ahorita y nos vamos a ir a los grupos. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con la situación? Por ejemplo, yo estoy trabajando con Lisette. Y yo, eh, yo le dije, por ejemplo, I, I need a new laptop, así como dijo Johnny. Pero Lisette dijo, uh, there is a house for sale. Lo que vamos a hacer es, yo le voy a decir a, a Lisette mi situación y Lisette me va a decir la, la de ella. Juntas vamos a decidir cuál situación es más, más interesante. Si la que dijo ella o la que dije yo. Eso es lo primero que vamos a hacer. Luego vamos a decir, vamos a decidir, ¿verdad? Vamos a decidir cuál situación es mejor. Y cuando tengamos la situación, vamos a crear una conversación usando the situation, all right, y obviamente la possi like the possibility using could. Y obviamente lo va a poner una, lo va a adornar porque solo, es una conversación, no solo va a decir, there is a house for sale, uh, you could buy it, buy. 
no va a decir eso nada más, ¿verdad? Es, es una conversación un poquito más larga, ¿ok? Yes. Ok, guys. Ok. All right. Ok. Thank you. Entonces, okay. escuchen las dos situaciones, la suya y la de su compañero o compañera, decidan cuál se oye más interesante. Traten de hacer como, como una diferente, ¿verdad? Traten como de explorar. Así que más podemos hacer, no, no una tan común. All right. Y basado en eso, hacemos una conversation usando could for possibility. Ok. All right, guys. Okay.
Ay, Carlos Roberto. Ay, Carlos. Carlos, can you get into a group or not? Not yet. Okay, let me know. Okay, that's okay. Thank you.
Sería bien sagaz. And, and I am made, and, and uh, let's do exercise, creo que así se dice. Um, My doctor recommended me uh, take a diet, que es dieta. Uh -huh. My doctor recommended me take a diet and, and, and lose weight. And lose weight. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. Eh, se lo voy a enviar y me dicen este porque yo quería quitar ese último and lose weight me gustó más lo que dijo Oscar de, de, de por el colesterol o el colesterol porque okay, ahí le puse mire eh, why do you need lose weight tenemos la teacher de visita anda espiando teacher hola dígame qué pasó teacher how do you traduce colesterol en inglés colesterol Colesterol. Ok. Ok. okay es Oscar necesita perder peso. <laughs> <laughs> um, why do you it's need for, this way, healthy, Oscar? <laughs> Excuse me? It's for healthy. Ah, ok. Uh, that, that situation. <laughs> ok, the doctor recommended to uh, take a diet and do weight. Escucha. Ok, Oscar. Hola, hola, hola. Uh, why do you need lose weight? Oh, my doctor recommended me take take diet and lose weight. Ahí sería bueno intervenir yo, ¿verdad? Porque no ha hablado. Carlos. Dice, ya casi van terminando, ¿verdad? Eh, yes. Y, ok, ok. Sí, sí, Un par de minutitos y lo saco, please. Thank you. Hi, ya casi just... en, en unos dos minutitos okay. lo saco, oye. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> lo bueno es que ya llegó. Yes, thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Very good.
All right. Okay, guys, let's see. Um, we have group number one. Tenemos segundo. Cristina, Alexander, and Jorge. Pero Jorge creo que no estaba en el grupo en sí. No sé si pudo participar. Cristi and Alexander, can you please read the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Ay, me asustó. I start. Yes. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Hey, uh, hello, Cristina, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. What have you done lately? The same always. <laughs> to work and to study, and you? I am working and studying. It's great, Cristina. Could you go this week? When? I am studying English. I need to study a lot. The weekend seems to you. I don't, I don't can this weekend because I have travel. Could you go out on Friday? Friday. Yes, of course. And finish. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very nice. Um, Alexander, solo cuando dice I can't, quítele I don't. Solo tiene que quedarle I can't, no I don't can't. Okay. okay. All right. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see the next group. We have Daniel, Juan Jose, and, and Katia. Okay. Hello, Rocio. How are you? I am so worried. My car is broken. Oh, it's too bad. But you could buy a car. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Because I don't have money for a new car. <laughs> but I could buy a used car. Oh, perfect. My friend Juan is... My friend Juan could help you. He's selling his car. Let me oh. call him. Hello, Juan. Hi, Annie. What's up? My friend Rocio is looking by a car. I could show here in the afternoon. Uh, could she go to the mall to sit in? Yes, she could. Finish teacher. And that is teacher. Very good, guys. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Um, Daniel, uh, she's looking to buy. No, she's looking by. Póngale okay. tú. All right. Very nice. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Very good conversation, guys. Very well Thank done. You. Thank you. Let's see. What about Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, Maria Melina, and Oscar Edilson? Okay, uh, good evening, classmate. Hi, Oscar. Hello, Oscar, how are you? I feel so bad. I need to lose weight. Uh, <laughs> what can I do? You could do exercise, Oscar. <laughs> or maybe you could go to the gym. Oh. Hey, thanks, friends. You are right. Uh, that's what I need. Um, Oscar, why do you need lose weight? Uh, my doctor recommended me take diet and lose weight. Well, why did doctor recommend that? Uh, I have cholesterol problem. No. <laughs> uh, Oscar. I hope with the exercise, you get better. Um, I recommend a big, big gym, Oscar. Okay, I'm friends. Finished. Thank you. You're welcome. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. 
very nice, Oscar. Excellent. I mean, it's not nice that you have high cholesterol, <laughs> but very good conversation. Excellent, Oscar. Okay, Thank no. you, Carlos <laughs> and Maria Melina. Very well done. Thank you. Let's see. What about uh, Trini and Vicky? Okay, teacher. Hmm? Trini puede comenzar. <laughs> I don't have a house. Could you help me find a house? Yes, I could ask about price and payment plans to adquire a house in the new neighbor. Please. I would I would like to buy one. They are very nice and special. I want to answer a see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> very good. All right. Okay. Uh, Vicky acquire. Creo que era adquirir, verdad? Sí. Okay. Acquire. Acquire. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Excellent, girls. Thank you. Um, Oscar Edilson, perdone, se me olvidó. It, eh, cuando dijo, I need lose weight, póngale el tú. I need to lose weight. Ah, okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. Perdón que se me, se me pasó decirle. Very nice. Thank you. Let me see. What about Kevin Antonio and Victoria Maria? Good morning, Kevin. How are you? Thanks, but I'm stressed about work. <laughs> what will you do on the weekend? I don't plan to do anything. You could go to the beach this weekend to de-stress you. <laughs> Good. Great. What a good idea. Right. Okay, <laughs> very good, Victoria. Very good, Kevin. All right, uh, Kevin, very good idea. Okay, ah, very idea, very nice, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you, Perfect. Kevin and Victoria. Very well done. Thank you. All right, then we have Jose David and Lisette. Johnny, perdón, Johnny, usted estaba solito. No, con quién estaba. Edwin. En mí. <laughs> Pero me parecía solito y dije, Dios mío, dejé solo a Johnny. All right, okay, okay, sorry. Um, le quité el impulso a David y a Lizette. All right, sorry. Okay, guys. <laughs> sorry, <Hello>. David. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, David. Good evening. Hello, Rosa. Um, Santa Tecla, there is one primer for rent. Um, and cool rent one food a food restaurant on site. Okay, I go help you with the menu. Yes, oh, I course it with cool my partners and um, to prepare a variety of delicious dishes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I can help you with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gabby. Yeah. Hasta ahí. <laughs> very good, Lisa. Very nice of you. Thank you. Very well done. All right. Very nice. So we're going to open up a restaurant. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, Misael and Oscar Esquivel. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Misael. I would like to be a good. Pussy Nesman. What do you do want to be an businessman? I would like to learn the hand oil industry. Oh, you could work hard, work hard to save and consider partner to know oh. the market and as a how to. We'll start the business. Wow, very good, Oscar. 
I have present. Okay. Good look. All right, very good. Thank you, Misael. Very good, Oscar. Well done. Thank you. Porque se ríe, Oscar. All right. Very nice. Then we have here um, Johnny and Edwin. Okay, teacher. One moment, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Johnny. How do you feel? Um, so so. <laughs> Why? I need a new laptop. I could help you with half of the price. Really? Nice. <laughs> yes. We will go tomorrow for the laptop, or if you like, we go right now. Wow. <laughs> right now. Right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Edwin, I need a new laptop too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do, Edwin. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Edwin. All right. Esas posibilidades me gustan. A mí todas las que han dicho están nice. Very nice. Interesting, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to take attendance right now so we can move on and, and keep on looking at the book. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. What happened to Carlos? I don't know. Wait, guys, give me a second. Ah. All right, sorry. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. President. Okay, uh, then we have Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Jose David Rivera Aquino. Present, Dicha. Juan José Conrado. Present. Mm, Julio Cesar Merino González, Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present. Teacher. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Oscar. Ah, oh, Nancy is not here. Present. Sorry, sorry, Oscar Edilson Coraz Spice, perdone que estaba con Nancy aquí. All right, very nice. Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubillas. Present teacher. Okay, then we have Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present. Victoria Maria Vázquez Juárez. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you. All right, let's continue here with your book then. We finished. Teacher, yo no escuché mi nombre, perdón. Pero si la tengo, Vicky, no se preocupe, porque yo ya la vi. <laughs> okay. Thank Very you. nice. Thank you, Vicky. All right, so we finished this part right here. Y acabamos de hacer exactamente number five, okay? And number six, porque la hicimos. We share the conversation in front of your classmates and teachers. So we finish number five and we finish number six. Let's go on with this, guys. I will be able to give and receive instructions on company procedures. All right, company procedures. Son los procesos ¿sí? uh -huh. de las companies and instructions. All right. So. Uh, where number one it says where do you usually request permission form who is the last person who signs them all right and sus empresas think about in your work uh where do you usually request a permission form cuando usted necesita un permiso en su empresa piensa en su empresa llena algún formulario o or what do you do? What is the process? For email. Ah, really, Cristina? 
Yes. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Anybody else? How do you request a permission? How do you like make permission? In my case, teacher, uh, it's a personal yeah. conversation or ah. personal request. Okay. All right. Very good. Trini made very good money, Melina. Trini, what did you say? Formularia. It's a form. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Anybody else? How do you request permission in your work, Vicky? Formularia. A form. Okay. Johnny? A form yeah, for WhatsApp. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. What about Kevin? When you Not need a there. permission? Not there. A letter. Oh, okay. All right. Oscar Esquivel, when you need a uh, you need permission, how do you request it? Mm. A call a person. Oh, person. Okay. All right. Daniel. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, a, a form in a the form. last in the last in the last person who signed is the the human resource. Ah, the human resources. All right, very good. And Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, how do you like request permission at your work? Uh, submit a letter. Ah, you submit a letter. Oh, nice. Okay, very good. So there are many ways by like through a phone call, a form, a letter, a WhatsApp message, an email. All right, very nice. Different. Um, ways to ask for permission or request for uh, request permission okay so here it's the, here we have the conversation mr ray and ashley all right oscar esquivel you're mr ray and katia can you be ashley please okay teacher okay mr ray Mr. Ray, yes, Me. you are Mr. Ray, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Honk. Do you, know, uh -huh. Do you know the product? Procedures. Procedures, uh -huh. Procedures. Uh -huh. Procedures and rules of our company. No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them then to you first. Excellent, Oscar. Thank you, Katia. Very nice. Thank you. All right, let's see. What about the bean? Can you please be Mr. Ray? And Maria Melina, can you please be Ashley? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start what about how to request a permission so good i will explain the to you first excellent thank you and one more let me see um vicky can you please be mr ray and edwin can you please i oh, know well yeah it doesn't matter mr ray and then edwin you're ashley Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. How and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Do you know the proced procedures? Procedures and rules uh, of our company? No, not sit here. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request and permission? Some goals I will explain the, then 
to you first. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, so good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request the permission? Sounds good. I will explain the, I will explain them to you. All right, and then he says first, y le empieza a contar. All right, um, check the conversation. Is there anything that you don't understand or you want me to repeat? Repeat, please, teacher. Uh, which one? Which word, Maria Melina? Um, can you repeat everything, please, teacher? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. All right. Thank it you. says, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, all right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Maria Melina. Very good. La palabra que creo que nos puede costar un poquito es procedures. All right. Rules. Okay, anything else? Alguna otra palabra that you need help with? What is the chair sounds? Ah, it sounds, uh, sounds good. Sounds good es como cuando se le dice, vaya, suena bien. Okay. <laughs> sounds good. Mm -hmm. El, uh, and uh -huh. there's here? Mm -hmm. No, no yet, sir. Es como cuando se le dice, no, todavía no. El sir es de señor, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok, el no yet es aún no. O todavía no. Anything else? I think we're okay, teacher. Ok, very nice. Thank you. All right. So uh, let's let's continue here, guys. Let me see. Okay, number three. It says get in pairs and discuss the following questions. Who is Ashley, and who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? All right. So you have question number one and question number two. Esas las van a hacer ahorita ustedes acá. No nos vamos a ningún lado. Answer question number one and question number two. And then we we'll check the answers. Huh? A new employee. Excuse me? Ashley is the new employee. Oh, okay. So you have the answer already? Mm -hmm. All right. So Ashley is the new employee. And number two, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Mm. Mr. Mr. Ray. Ray. Mr. Ray, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, now, in your company, piensen en cada empresa o compañía, who is um, in charge of uh, introducing new employees to the company? Acuérdense cuando ustedes entraron a la empresa donde trabajan, ¿quién les dio el tour o quién les Dijo algo de la empresa el primer día. O no me decir que nadie, all right? So, someone had to. It was Oscar Esquivel. <laughs> all right. A ver, piense, le doy un in minutito my, para que se recuerden. Uh, Ajá, Daniel. My boss teacher. Um, yes, in, in my, my case, uh, yes. the supervisor yeah. of my department. Ah, OK, my Daniel. My, my, my boss. Yes. OK. So the supervisor of your department, por ahí oí que dijeron my boss. All right, anybody else? How do you say cuñado? <laughs> my brother-in-law. Ah, okay. 
Okay, your brother-in-law. Very nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anybody else? Johnny, cuando uh, entra al colegio? Nadie. Uh, my coordinator. What is coordinator? Yeah, your coordinator. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Anybody else? Carlos Eduardo, when you began working at your office, who gave you the tour? <laughs> My boss. Okay. Oh. All right, very good. Yeah. Anon Kennedy, son? Uh, My boss. Your boss, all right. Okay, very nice, thank you. Okay, let's continue then here with the bottom part of your page. All right, or the next one, company procedures and policies. Read the procedure to request permission at the DAC company. Procedures to request permission, okay? Here, no sabe que, no lo vean mejor, no, vamos a cambiar, vamos a, a cambiar la actividad. No vean el libro, es más, ciérrenlo. All right, Oscar, Oscar Esquivel, you're tremendo, Oscar. <laughs> Ya lo, ya lo revisó. Ya lo, yo sé que ya lo revisó. No me consta que haya cerrado el libro, Oscar. All right, very nice. Ok, close your books, ok. En su cuaderno, donde te, usted lleva puntas, ponga esto. A ver. Vamos a poner, vamos a ver si puedo poner esto aquí. Vamos a poner esto. De verdad no abran el libro, ok. Vamos a poner, ya. Yeah. Procedure to request permission. Okay. All right. Eso pongan en su cuaderno. ¿Y qué van a hacer? Van a hablar, le van a contar a su compañero o su compañera what is the procedure, el proceso, todo el procedimiento para pedir permiso. Porque, oh, uy, I'm sorry. Me asusté, pensé que había cerrado la, la, la clase. Porque no solo es que mando un correo ya, ¿verdad? O sea, sí, pero to whom? Y luego, ¿qué espero? All right. Tengo que mandarlo unos días antes. Tengo que mandarlo. No hay problema si lo mando el mismo día. Um, tengo que mandárselo a varias personas. No sé, hay un proceso. Todas las empresas tienen un procedimiento a seguir. All right. ¿A quién se lo manda? ¿Con cuántos días de anticipación? ¿Cómo se lo manda? Cómo tiene que llenar ese formulario. All the procedures. Y traten de escribir sin la oración es como cortas, así como, um, como no están viendo el libro, ¿verdad? <ríe> Tratemos de escribirlo como imperatives, que sería así como, eh, por decir, llenar el formulario. Fill in the form. All right. O mandar el correo. Send the email. Entonces, no son largas, tan largas las oraciones. Y empiece con los verbos. Primero va a poner first. ¿Qué es lo primero que usted hace? All right. Y luego eh, ya no tiene que poner second o next, sino que solo first, tal cosa. Y luego escribir, mandar, enviar, escanear, no sé. Eh, whatever. The procedure. Obviamente, si yo estoy trabajando con María Melina, ella me dice su procedure y yo le digo el mío. Y pongan atención. Y si tienen que tomar notas, hágalo porque lo vamos a compartir acá. All right, so let's go. Seguimos con los mismos grupos. Carlos Roberto, lo uno a un grupo ahora. All right, guys. Thank you. Edwin, usted estaba con Johnny, ¿verdad? Ok, ya lo mandé. Voy a mandar a Carlos Roberto. También se va al número 8, la sala 8.
All right, very good. Did you finish your procedures about requesting permission? Yes, teacher. Excellent, very yes. nice. Yes, teacher. Very good, thank you. All right, let's see. Who wants to tell me the procedures first? ¿Cómo les quedó esos procedures? Tell me. Daniel, you want to go first? Tell me the procedures of your um, classmates. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. In the case of Juan Jose Comrado, mm -hmm. it's only called to the bus, called to, to her bus or send message by WhatsApp and only wait an answer. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, Juan mm -hmm. Jose. <laughs> Very easy. In the, case, <laughs> in the case of Rocio, she entered to the platform, choose day and time that she needs a permission, okay. request approval in waiting for an answer to, for request. Okay. All right. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Um, what about Juan Jose? Do you remember Daniel's procedures in his company? Is Daniel uh, is procedure to request permission uh, uh, fill the form? What your name? What the day and time you will need? Permission, write the reason, said to, said to Howard, he, why and answer. Okay. All right. So, so Daniel's procedure is longer. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah. I, 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 I need a friend of the <laughs> oh my goodness, Daniel. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> All right. I, 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 in my case, I never, uh, I never, I request permission. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's very good. Okay. Let's see. Maria Melina's group. Uh huh. Maria Melina. Um. Um. The procedures to Carlos Eduardo. Okay. In his work, he needs to submit a letter to human resource for request permission. Okay. Uh, he have request permission two days anticipated. Oh, two days before, and, okay. Yeah, and he wait for the confirmation. Oh, all right, interesting, very nice. Carlos, do you remember Maria Melina's or um, Oscar's? Uh, procedures. The procedures uh, to request permission to uh, Emelina. Uh, she, uh, she talked with your bus uh, personnel. Okay. And the confirmation is immediately. Oh my goodness, Maria Emelina. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm lucky. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. All right, so it's immediately. Okay. All right, interesting. Uh let's see. Oscar, do you um tell us about your um I love the yeah, nada. tell us about your procedures? <laughs> okay, uh, tell uh, to my boss personally. Okay. Or chat uh, or call. Okay. Uh, one day is uh, in advance. In advance, okay, or before, okay. Panel. All right. Uh, uh, then wait for your authorization. For his or her authorization, okay. Uh huh. And that's it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Sounds good. Okay, very good. Johnny, tell us about Edwin's procedures. Okay. Uh, first, mm -hmm. write an email. Okay. Then send it to the boss at least two days. Oh, okay. Finally, approved. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, very nice. Edwin, do you remember Johnny's procedures? Edwin? No, just... <sighs> Okay. The uh, the first write an email, mm -hmm. then send it to the boss. Okay. At least two days. Before. 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 Okay. Uh, at at sería en vez de less before. Four days antes. Uh -huh. Two days before, or you can say two days in advance. Uh, uh, okay. At least two. Uh -huh. And finally, uh -huh. uh, approve. <laughs> ah, the, yeah, the approval. Approval uh -huh. of the request. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Let's see, Alexander, who did you work with, Alexander? with Cristina and Jorge, right? Okay. Alexander, do you remember Cristina's procedures? No, maybe he's not there. Teacher, yo se los escribí a él en el, en el chat, chat, pero él no me los dio. Ah, bueno, Cristi, eh, díganos está. los de usted. Uh -huh. tell, tell us yours. Eh, yes. Send email, copy, or my compañeros de trabajo. No, my, or, my, my workmates? Workplace. A week in advance. Okay. And I, if it's ur, urgent, mm -hmm. I do it verbally. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And then the approval is immediately, right? Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, guys, before we go, let's take a Ooh, what am I doing? Let's take a look at this procedures to request permission. David, can you read number one, two, and three, please? Uh, Oscar Esquivel, can you read four, five, and six? And Carlos Roberto, can you read seven, eight, and nine? Number one. Yes. First, write the request request for the is a available on the internet. Okay, on the on the internet, I think it says. Internet. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Is a by available. Data. Available. Okay. Excellent. Very nice. <clears throat> Continue. Okay. Fill of the form. Yes. And number three. Write the reason for the permission. That's right. Very nice. Four, five, and six. Oscar? Esquivel. Number four. Write the time and day you will be absent. Mm -hmm. Number five. Spe spe specify. If specify mm -hmm. if it is due to medical or personal reason. Okay. Number six. Ask for the, the part, department manager's signature. Excellent. All right. Thank okay. you. Yes. And Carlos Roberto, 789. Okay. Present the form at the Human Resource Office. Mm -hmm. The Human Resource Assistant will receive the form and sing it if it's accepted. Um, it is accepted. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
If the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Wow, it's denied. Denied is denegado, denied. All right, we sign it. Very nice, okay. So here are like some procedures to request permission on at this company, right? So you have to first request the form. Primero la pide, all right? Porque no es que esté ahí como el formulario por todos lados. So request the form, fill out the form. Cuando decimos fill out, es llenar. Llenar el formulario, fill out the form. Write the reason for the permission. All right, la razón. Write the time and day you will be absent. Specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Entonces tiene que especificar eh, si se debe a una razón médica o personal. Ask for the department's manager's signature. Signature is firma. Present the form in, at the human resources office. The human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. If the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Denied is denegado. Okay, all right. Okay, we already did this. Por eso les dije que vamos a cambiar el orden. All right, so we first did the list of situations in which you could ask request and permission. Mañana yo les voy a dar eh, unas ideas, eh, unas situaciones, y basado en eso vamos a fill out this permission form. All right, similar to that one. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop sharing this. Voy a tomar la última asistencia. Let's see, we have Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present Thank you. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present Ok. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Present Thank you. Juan José Conrado. Present. Ed Thank you. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Misael. Present. Thank you. Nancy Lisset Rodriguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Coreas Pais. Present. Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubías. Present, teacher. Rosa Lisset de Paz Hernández. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. All right, very good guys. We are about to finish. Solo recordarles que estamos a dos días de terminar el curso, all right, tenemos mañana and then Monday and we finished. Igual recordarles que esta semana es la última, por lo tanto nos toca terminar las tareas, que es hasta la 20, y el examen final del curso, ¿verdad? De hecho, el, el examen final deben de hacerlo el fin de semana para que cuando vengamos el lunes ya esté terminado. Y antes de que se retiren, recordarles también sobre la encuesta de satisfacción o el cuestionario de satisfacción. Ese se va a llenar el lunes en hora clase. Si usted lo recibe antes, ustedes ya vienen eh, de los otros módulos y saben que no lo hacemos individual, lo hacemos en clase. Lo hacemos todos juntos para evitar cualquier error porque solo lo pueden mandar una vez. Entonces, estamos programados nosotros para las 9 y 30 de la noche del lunes, eh, del día lunes, all right? Así es que si lo reciben, más probable es que lo empiecen a recibir tal vez mañana, si no, en caso no lo han recibido, 
o el mismo lunes, no lo haga, hágalo hasta en la noche que estemos en clase para que lo hagamos todos al mismo tiempo. All right, guys, very good. Thank you so much for uh, being in class today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Oscar. <laughs> Creía que era fin de semana ya. I know, eh, but no, casi, casi. Voy adelantado, chaval. Sí, buen día. Good night. <laughs> Bye, Oscar. Bye. Yeah. Hola, Oscar y Dilson. ¿Quién se quedaba hoy? No ¿Usted? <laughs> Perdón. Ah, pues. Así como que Oscar, okay. ahí lo veo. ¿Cómo le va, Oscar? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, teacher. Excelente. ¿Qué tal? Yo digo que bien, Oscar, aquí, mire, ya terminando casi el año. Sí, verdad, bien rápido. Súper rápido, sí. Rápido, sí. Pero ahí vamos, bien. All right, okay. Oscar, do you have any questions about any of the topics? Eh, sí, con respecto a, a shoes, uh -huh. eh, nada más se usa para recomendaciones. Sí, para no recomendaciones para... y como para consejos. ¿verdad? Bueno, pero no es para estrictamente decirle eh, que lo haga, ¿no? No, no. Si yo le digo, por ejemplo, si es como una obligación, entonces ocupo el verbo modal have have to, okay. o must, you must do it, entonces ahí sí como que usted debe de hacerlo, o tiene que hacerlo, si en caso yo le digo you have to, pero si yo le digo you should, le estoy recomendando, le estoy dando un consejo que lo debería de hacer, all right? Ok, uh -huh. recomendación eh, casi sería similar a posibilidad, ¿verdad? No. Sí, o sea, de alguna forma, porque usted es como que, eh, you should go to the doctor, ¿verdad? Entonces también es que entre que sí lo sugiere, porque puede ser una posibilidad de hacerlo. Entonces sí, pero digamos que para separarlo decimos should es para dar un consejo, eh, uh -huh. una recomendación y el could en este caso es para eh, una possibility. Una posibilidad, uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Ok, y el can. Uh -huh. eh, ok. Uh -huh. Siempre sería para una posibilidad, entonces. Fíjese que el can eh, tiene igual que el could, que ustedes ya se dieron cuenta que podemos usarlo como para solicitar algo o para una posibilidad. El can lo usamos más que todo para permiso o para habilidad. ¿verdad? Entonces, igual, entra dentro de la familia del verbo modal, ¿verdad? Pero eh, lo usamos, podemos usarlo de esa forma. Usted me puede decir, ah, teacher, can I go? Y ahí está pidiendo un permiso, ¿verdad? Okay. O can I, si, digamos, puedo contestar el teléfono, can I answer the phone? All right. Solo que es un poquito más informal que el could, ¿verdad? Okay. Y luego para habilidad, por ejemplo, yo le digo, um, I can swim, I can uh, ride a bike, I can speak three languages. All right, entonces lo ocupamos más para habilidad y para permiso. Ok, ok. Ahora entonces, también, perdón, uh -huh. lo último, acuérdese también que could en su momento lo van a ver como el pasado del can, de habilidad. Okay. All right. Entonces, por decirlo así, a ah, Oscar, tenemos el uso del could. Pueden ser tres, ¿verdad? Dos que ya vimos, request and possibility. Y podría uh -huh. ser de habilidad pasada. Usted me dice, yo cuando era chiquito podía subirme a los árboles. I could climb the trees. Ahora ya no, ¿verdad? Okay. All right. Entonces, también es el pasado del can. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Entonces, should, could, and can son modal verbs. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? sí. sí. Uh -huh. Y más adelante sí. van a seguir viendo otros. No sé si ya, creo que no han visto todavía el must, el ought to, el have to, creo que no. sí. Eh, este pero, sí. Ajá. El would, todos esos son verbos modales. Uh -huh. Ok. 
All right. Y como son verbos modales, tienen como su propia regla, ¿verdad? Son como una familia separada a los verbos tradicionales. Entonces, ellos no necesitan de otro auxiliar. Ellos son sus propios negativos o sus propias preguntas. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, usted dice, I can't do it. No dice, I don't can't, ¿verdad? O, dice, o no dice, I don't could, para decirlo en negativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, decimos, I couldn't, ¿ok? Usted okay. podría decir, no, no pude comprar un carro. I couldn't buy a car. Entonces, ellos son sus propios negativos. No necesitan otros auxiliares. Y los no verbos que le sigan son en forma base. Tampoco necesitan ningún cambio para tercera ningún persona, cambio. nada. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, teacher. All right. Very good, Oscar. Very good questions, sí. Oscar. <laughs> Sí, quería eh, ordenar los, ahí los pensamientos. Sí, no, está bien, perfecto, súper. Ok. Sí, teacher, solo esto. Ok, all right, tenía muy ahí bien. Retroalimentación. Está uh -huh. bien, perfecto, Oscar, ya sabe que estamos para ayudarle. Ok. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, bueno. Oscar. Descanse. Okay. Bye. Buenas noches. Igual, bye. bye.